Mercedes Martinez, Diamante, Lee Moriarty, and, and uh, anyway, yeah. against Athena, her kind of protege, Keith Lee, and Satoshi Kojima. Sick. Yeah. And now, it's time to get for, a, for war. Yeah. And your winners, Keith Lee, Athena, Kojima, Satoshi Kojima, and Kojima, Billy Starks. Yeah. They were taken on Shane Taylor, Lee Moriarty, Diamante, and uh, James Martinez. Had an exchange between Shane Taylor and Keith Lee, and of course referencing their time tagging together, and then, you know, some bitter feelings that because of Shane resigning with Rank of Honor, and then, of course, as we all know, Keith Lee went to NXT, crossed it in NXT, then the whole uh, bear cat bullshit, and then coming to uh, AEW. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a pretty good match to start the evening off with. Oh, and so much more. The arena looks really good. Yeah. yeah, nice, I guess. It looks, well, I mean, I'm not quite sure what time it is in Seattle. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see what happens next. Yes, sir. Well, we have the second match for Zero Hour, Josh Barnett versus Claudio Castagnoli. Yeah, and Mox leaves a company and... Claudio to the ring is like, oh, he must be all right after that uh, sit down pile driver from Ray Phoenix. Oh, Mox is one badass motherfucker. Yeah. So, this should be a good match. Barnett wearing the Anoki scarf. Dark, yeah. So, let's get it on, bitch. Yes, sir. Well, that was a fucking war. Yeah, that was a really good match. Two very talented. Man, two very talented wrestlers. Of course, outside of wrestling, we all know Josh Barnett's capabilities and, you know, fighting. Rex Martial Arts, UFC, Strike Force. They're in the side of that. Other promotions as well. Yeah. And then, you know, afterwards, Josh is saying that he's proud of Claudio. And, you know, he heard a lot about Claudio and everyone was right. And I know he would pr approve, and you know, don't. He's like, don't sit down after this. Don't rest. Keep training. Keep pushing. Keep going. At some point down the line, we will meet again. We will do this one more time. It's high praise, man. I mean, Claudio's been in the business for over twenty years. Oh yeah. You know, and I mean, we talked a lot about obviously his WWE run. Yeah. Obviously going back to Ring of Honor, going yep. to a lot of places and, you know, 
European territories, obviously. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, high praise. We'll probably, we'll obviously see another match from those two, but... Oh, yeah. Zero hour still going on. Yeah, so next we got Luchasaurus for Snake Wayne. Of course, in next backyard. Mm-hmm. Janet Washington. <laughs> and the match with Barnett and... Claudio, the match history. Isn't Barnett Canadian? And I'm like, I don't think so. And Bar Barnett was like, yeah, you beat me in my hometown. I was like, oh, he's from Washington. Right. Seattle. Yeah. Well, not too far from British Columbia, so... Yeah. Anyways. And, you know, of course, too, they're talking about how Josh Barnett was a student of, of course, a Jody Onoki, but also Billy Robinson and uh, Carl Gotch. Those are some men that, you know, mm. <laughs> could really put a... <laughs> take it to you when training you. Oh, God, yeah. Real fucking catch wrestlers, man. Yeah. But, yeah, Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus. Yeah. See how long it lasts. Yeah, probably not long. <sighs> A moment of silence for Nick Wayne. So, actually, that was longer than I expected. Yeah, like, I didn't think it would go, like, okay, thought maybe it'd go fairly quick, but it went in a few minutes. It was mostly a one-sided ass whooping, though. Oh, oh, yeah. As figured. Yeah, and I mean, Nick's mom was front row for it. Yep. It's funny. I mean, I just was like, Did you show some emotion? Like, she's just sitting there like, No. Yeah. It's like, What are you doing? And I'm just... Did you have uh, Botox injections in your face? I mean, if it was our moms, I'm pretty sure they'd jump the barricade. Probably. But, I mean, this was a good match, and obviously, Luchasaurus was gonna win this one, so... I remember watching a documentary, I think it was. It might have been about Batista, or something. And where it was third of was in their hometown, you know, the family of being in tennis and there's other members of the family would have to like hold his mother back from trying to jump the barricade and beat the set out of you know, whoever it was. That was I don't think it was Batista, it was, it was Undertaker. Undertaker yeah, Undertaker. Yeah. yeah. Psycho said was uh, talking smack. To it while he was having uh, having him on the ropes, so his dad and brothers had to hold, hold back. her back because she was wanting to you know, jump the barricade and yeah. get in the ring and give Sid a piece of her mind. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get back at it. More to continue for the final match of Zero Hour. You got the trio's tag titles on the line. They claimed Billy Gunn against TMDK. It's gonna be an awesome fight. Yeah, I mean, kind of thought they would have been on the card, but the zero hours, <laughs> not too bad. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, I'll we'll see what happens anyways. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that'll be a good match nonetheless. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. Yes, this sir. This match did not disappoint. Yeah. TMDK, they're, they're quite a trio. Yes. Then again, then you throw in there also Zack Sabre Jr. and yeah, Shane Haste competed in NXT. It was him and uh, we well, went by Shane Thorne at the time. Yeah. And Nick Miller with TM61. And they're with her. Then you got Bad Man Tito or Bad. Bad I, Man Tito. The Bad Man Tito. And the other guy, a good, good match and good cohesion from TMDK, but not quite enough for get the win against the acclaimed and daddy ass. This was a good zero hour. <laughs> and it's only getting started. It's going to be a great night. Yes, sir. 
The only thing left to do... Sesame Daddy J! And we're back. Yes, sir. Kelly Kyle. Mean Matt. And hell yeah. The first match we have for the AEW Take Team Titles. MJF. Who will take on the oh, The gonna, Righteous. Yeah, I was going to say the Kingdom. The Righteous. Yes. Yeah. They were showing sure. Jay White getting beat down by four dudes in a mask and another masked man that had like the MJF double mask from when he returned at didn't got the chip for that ladder match. Yeah. I had seen that there was gonna be a former seven time WWE champion that was behind the Jay White beat down. Oh. Yeah. I wonder who it could be. Yeah. So, are you saying it's gonna be like during this match? I don't know about. Well, there is the back and forth on Dynamite between Jay White and MJF. So, whenever, like, after this, they're going to, you know, go into that. Okay. Kind of store feud or whatever so we'll find out some point down the line oh. probably full gear uh, okay let's get it fucking going you yeah. oh, son of a bitch he did it yeah it looked like it was going to be just a beat down of MJF and you know, to pull out all these moves and then have MJF kick out and either finally the righteous get the win or MJF get the win and he basically anchor kicked the crap out of both of them and Dutch. Yes. He put his feet on the roof, but that wasn't really necessary. I think that was just for fun. Yeah. Get a good chuckle. Oops. Like next, we're gonna have Kingston versus Shibata for the Ring of Honor World Title and the Strong Open Weight Championship. And Shibata is currently the Ring of Honor oh television champion or Ring of Honor Tour champion, one or the other. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, You've already got this party going. Yeah. Got this party started. Why do you say we keep this party rocking and rolling? Fuck yeah, dude. So earlier today, I took a little trip to the liquor store. Ooh. And because we finished off my marker, there wasn't really much left of the wisers from last night. So it's like, oh, I'll go to the liquor store and, you know, pick up whatever just have a look around and pick up some stuff and I saw this and it's like oh that looks like it'd be good to try I hadn't seen this before when I saw it it's like I have a feeling Matt will really really like this you see <laughs> limited edition Bailey's Tenement Shoe Oh, buddy! Yes. Oh. Nice. Because I know one time Matt and I went to the liquor store and he said he tried the. Uh, was it salted caramel? No, it was. It was Bailey's. Yeah, it was. It was. It might have been salted caramel. And you weren't really a fan of it. Yeah, I don't like salted caramel. But, uh, We'll see how this is. I, I love tiramisu. I know. When I saw that, it's like, oh, I know Matt loves tiramisu. And have you had, like, the original Bailey's before? 
Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my grandmother loves Bailey, so. Right. She had a shit ton at her place. So. <laughs> yeah, I've had it. So. This show, man. So. Here's to Russell Dreamer. The Zero Hour was really good. This is off to a really good start. And, uh, yeah. Here's to it. Nice to love ya. Nice to love ya. Subscribe. Yes. To me and Matt's world. Killer Kyle 34. Yes, sir. Let's get it fucking going. Ooh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, the show. Well, <laughs> I'll be back in a second. But we'll talk about this when uh, the next one. Yeah. Well, that was a match. That was a war. Yeah, that was a really good match. And, you know, strong style, hard hitting. As you would expect it to be from two guys like K State and Shibata. We got submissions and you know the uh, Iron Octopus and the one the, the other another submission ball. And uh, yeah, just really, really good match. Yeah. And they're talking about Shibata becoming an American Triple Crown winner because Shibata is the pure champion. Yes. And then, you know, Eddie's the Ring of Honor World Champion and the strong open weight champion. So, yeah. And they did a sign of respect, obviously. Yes. So. Yeah, man. That's awesome. Well, just to quickly, that cured me soon, Bailey is uh, quite good. Yeah. You definitely got that hint of espresso, I want to say. Yes, it's espresso, cocoa, lady fingers. Well, there's no lady fingers in here, but yeah, Terry Shoe generally is layers of like lady fingers dipped in espresso with the cream, and then topped with the cocoa. As usually, generally with Bailey's, he got a fairly strong coffee flavor because it's a coffee liqueur. Yeah, with this one. The coffee flavor is there, but it's dialed down, and you get like a chocolate taste as well. Yes. So yeah, really good. <laughs> I was telling Matt before we started recording. At the liquor store this morning for sure. It was weird because I got there at like 10:30 and it wasn't open, <laughs> and it's supposed to open at like 10. And so I went off to get something to eat and came back at like. 11 and it was open so I like, wonder why they were late opening but it was another thing so this was in the section where like the uh, the other Bailey's are and Forty Creek are uh, creams like the butter tart and then I'm and there's their original uh, Forty Creek cream or whatever but there was this one there's three there's that one that I bought and then there was two Two other ones, and there was a little spatula attached to them. I was like, okay, you buy a bottle of the, not the tiramisu, Bailey, and get a little spatula. I was like, that's interesting. Yeah. But next, we got the TBS Championship match Chris Statlander versus Julia Hart. Yeah, so that should be a good match. Yes. TBS champion, and yeah, let's get it on. Yeah. And so it is. Yeah, like we said, you know, we had a feeling Statlander was going to retain, but I said, you know, and a loss to Statlander potentially in this match, it would, you know, 
have a good show and I'll feel their heart and like show hey like she's can easily be on the caliber and on the level of Brody, Buddy, and Malachi. And I think she's there. Oh, definitely. Most definitely she's there. And he, Kyle pointed out that they had a match before that and... Yeah, Julia Hart's and ring debut was against Statlander. Yeah. And Statlander beat her. Yeah. And then Julia Hart went on a 28 match win streak. But her last loss prior to that was to Statlander, and then Statlander beat her again tonight. It's like Statlander's the crept tonight of Julia, man. Back when she was in the Bar City Blondes. Yeah. Segway. Watching No Mercy last night, we saw a vignette for a debuting soon, Brian Pillman Jr. Yeah. And I am really hoping that they put some respect on that name. Yeah, for way. sure. But neither here nor there. Yeah. Uh, I think Dax got the far away from the number one contender spot to bring AEW tag titles. Orange Hook, Lucha Brothers, Guns, and Young Bucks. Orange Hook. The most laid back take team in AEW. Yeah, I mean, they had a collision, uh, like an interview segment with Renee Young, and Orange Cassidy was like, hey, we should do a tag or whatever. And Huck's like, yeah, and cool, frickin' Huck's eating a bag of Doritos. He's like, okay then. Then, you know, they show backstage, Orange tape up his hand or whatever and just sitting with Hook and Hook sheeting. They're sharing a bag of chips. It's like, okay then. Yeah. Well, let's see who wins this match becomes number one contender. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh man, all these, all four of these guys just took each other to the limit. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. And I mean, yeah, so I didn't know how the rules really worked, but then Huck was going to do the red rum, but then I think it was one of the guns taken in the Young Bucks. Hook was going to do the red rum on Austin gun. Orange Cassidy hit the orange punch on Austin. Hook was able to get the red rum on Austin. It was, I think, Matt Jackson that tagged in as Hook got the hooks in, so to speak. Yeah. About intended. <laughs> Austin tapped, but the referee couldn't. Matt was like, he tapped it, yeah, but. Austin's not the legal dude. It was Matt Jackson. Then carry on. But yeah, your winners, the Young Bucks. Hell yeah. So, it'll be the Young Bucks versus, well, either FGR or Ozzy Open. Yeah. So, it's gonna be an awesome night. Let's continue. Man, I. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we have this match. Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland. Shane Strickland. Yep. And it's gonna be interesting to see what happens because these two guys, very different styles, but like I said, their interaction in the ring mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago, it was like this was almost gonna be like a final competition, but I don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, it'll be interesting to see who wins. And, yeah. Maybe Prince Nana's gonna do a crazy dance. Yeah, exactly. And, anyways, let's get it on. Whose house? Swerve's house! Ass take cowboy shit. Yeah.
You look as ridiculous as fucking not doing that. I know. What a lot of match though. Oh yeah, fuck that was a good match. Back and forth, hand for hand. Oh yeah. Stomps galore, box shots. JL driver. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Adam Page got his arm snapped. Or shoulder. Whatever. I don't know. Meh. And then Nana got called to the back, but then he gave Swerve his jewel bandana crown. Yeah. Yeah. So. This Swerve won. Yep. And I got the embassy coming out celebrating with him. Yeah. Nothing to take away from Adam Page. No. I, and I'm sure they'll have another match. Oh, probably. I mean, hopefully it'll be one on one if that's the problem with managers or whatever. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah, this was a really good match. It also goes to show you how tough Adam Page is. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like once again. Hashtag cowboy shit. Yeah. So now we've got Ricky Starks versus Willie Yuta. Yeah. This is going to be a good match, too. I'm very impressed with Willie Yuta. Right. And like I said, I enjoy Ricky Starks yeah. with the aggressive streak he's had lately. Yeah. So. Yeah, who knows who's going to win this match. Right. But, it's only, you know, a matter of time. Yeah. But I hope that Wheeler comes out by himself. But, that's not really guaranteed. Well, I mean, there's a good possibility that Big Bill's going to come out with Stark. Oh, right. So, Wheeler will probably come out with Claudio or Moxley. Or both, yeah. maybe. Who knows? Yeah, that's possible. We'll see. Let's get it on. Yeah. And I just like messing with Kyle. Anyways, another really good match. Good physical match. We had, again, Moxie on commentary. They had Ricky Starks come out by himself and then... Big Bill comes straight into the ring. And then didn't really seem to matter too much. But Ricky Starks ended up getting the win. Only a guy like that. A tough guy like that can wear a man bun. Yeah. But yeah, I mean this was a really good match. Both guys very impressive. Yes. But yeah, Ricky Starks for the win. And well, sure. you know, I feel like he deserved it. Honestly, I think it'll push him more and we'll see what happens but if he goes for the TNT title or the, I was going to say All-Atlantic, but the International. International, yeah. And, but, I think, and I think next we've got Danielson versus Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I mean, both guys are brutal as shit. Yeah. And we both know that Brian Danielson has the best resume for professional wrestling. Wrestled everywhere. Oh, yeah. So, it's almost like we'll see what happens with this match. And yeah. Will it be the dragon? Will it be... Whatever Zack Sabre Jr. calls himself. I don't think he really has a nickname. Yeah. I mean, he's an awesome wrestler in himself, so... Oh, yeah. Anyways, let's get it on. Oh. That was a fucking match. I think I'm not allowed to change his laundry after that one. Oh. I mean, Brian Danielson was stretched like a pretzel. Oh, yeah. 
you know, I mean, Brian did the whole head stomping thing, and, you know, he did the, just everything, pulled out all the stops. Oh yeah, absolutely. And honestly, yeah, he thought that Zack Sabre Jr. was gonna beat Brian Danielson by the American Dragon is you winner. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, I think with this match, <clears throat> calls for a little something. I know we've got uh, the Baileys, but, you know, all night we've been paying tribute to the iconic, the legendary WWE Hall of Famer in Antonio Anoki. Why don't we change things up and pay tribute to another legend, but a legend of a different kind. A legend of the music business, a legend of probably one of the most iconic and top 10, probably greatest bands of all time, and probably one of Matt's all time favorite bands. Yes, boy. Some good old number seven. <laughs> yeah. Motherfucker. Mighty Mouse. Yeah, I, uh... He's basketball, right? You, no, he's UFC. Oh, shit. <laughs> <sighs> Haven't really been keeping up with the UFC as much as other MMA shows. Yeah. But... This has been a fucking war. A very, very good show, I think. Two matches left, maybe. I have no clue. Well, you've got AEW tag team yes. titles. FTR against Ozzy Open. Kenny Omega, the Golden Elite. Yeah. And Jericho against Sammy Guevara, Will Ospreay, and Takeshita. Yep. So. And we'll see if we can pull this off. We'll see. But thank you for joining us, for watching the play by play. Yes. We've been going strong since 2020. Right. With the play by play. Yes. And yeah. We'll see what happens with Fast Lane because I feel like they've kind of scrambled. With payback just happening. Yeah. So. But I mean, like, you look at the quick turnaround that happened in August. Yeah. With All In and then All In. Mm -hmm. I mean, they pulled it off fairly easily. So, I mean. Yeah. Let's throw over here. Let's throw over here. You didn't see that. <laughs> Just to note that we have all the members of Jericho's team. We've got the Kallus family coming out. And on the Titan Tron, you've got the Last Supper. Yeah. With all the guys from yeah. the family. Kallus and Osprey and Gavar and Takesta. It's like, wow. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, and of course John Callis does Jesus Christ. It's like, yeah, that's about it, right, I guess. The only thing about Don Callis is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I fucking hate Don Callis. Yeah. Well, anyways, this is going to be a hell of a match, too. And we'll see what happens. So, let's... Kind of interesting to see that, though, being raised Catholic and knowing all that stuff that I don't believe anymore. Here we go! Now oh, that damn dirty Guevara. Damn dirty cow is fuck Guevara. Well, that's true, yeah. Jesus. Stonehenge, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. 
That's a lot, very good match. Got yeah. Fast, though. I mean, Kota Bushi was very well in Japan. Did very well here. Yeah. It was a treat to see him and Takoshi have had it. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, this was very awesome. But yeah, the Kyle's family wins. Yeah. So with how much time there's left and. I think this is the last match, I'm not sure. But I don't think we'll get it all in in time. I'll see. But! I think. One more time? Alright. I already got a gold but let's do it. Oh, we got the World Tag Team titles. Right. Here's to one hell of a night. Banger after banger after banger. They fought the wrong brutes. <laughs> this, I mean, yeah, AEW, even though they're still a young company, yeah, they don't disappoint. Yeah. For the most part. For sure. So, thank you for joining us once again. This has been a blast. Yeah. And hopefully, we'll be doing the Wheels of Fury predictions. Yes. If there is more matches added, I'm yeah. pretty sure there will be, but. Yeah. Mr. Ovia? Mr. Ovia. This match was awesome. I mean, you look at these two teams and it's like, yeah, Aussie Open is a badass tag team. And we thought maybe they would actually get the win. They pulled out all the stops. They even did a shitty version of Shadow Machine. That did not work. Aussie Open could have won, you know, but you know, things happen and I could see another match happen in the future, but anyways, FTO retains the titles, and yeah, we have one match left. Let's get it on, Christian Cage versus Darby Allen for the TNT title. This is gonna be fun. This is crazy! Okay, so first of all, oh, we had Darby Allen do the first fall. He did as a jack knife or whatever they call it. He went punk Christian's thing on the front end, and then the fucking, you know, he wins the match, but then, you know, Christian beats him up, you know, throws him to the steps, and yeah, you know, Dr. Samson comes out. And he, so they check him over, obviously can't win, they put him on a stretcher. We got Christian do a fucking high fly flow onto Darby Allen. And yeah, so he tries to drag him in. Got Nick Wayne coming out. He actually turned on Darby Allen. So, they win the match, you have two of them beat the shit out of... Darby Allen, Sting comes out, you have fucking that happen, they beat Sting up, the lights go out, and on this night, we saw clearly everything came to light. And what was it that I saw, buddy? Obviously, made official, you could say. He's no longer. With the WWE, he's, you know, 
dying with every every year, whatever. But like, just no, fucking no. Sorry, pal. Had to do it. Holy shit. Yes, it's Adam Copeland, and he actually does have the Alter Bridge theme song for that. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I am. Oh, I'm so. Oh. Yeah, so happy. So happy. So happy. Because now we have. All Elite Wrestling. The Rated R. Star Adam Copeland. This show, though, it was awesome, man. I really enjoyed it. I know Kyle enjoyed it. So, yeah, next week. Next week's gonna be interesting because it is fast lane, but I honestly don't know what's next, like how many other matches they're gonna have, but. What a show. Wrestle Dream was amazing. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye. Um, so you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's the case at all. If you look at some of his earlier interviews that he 